I saw Secret Sunshine when it first screened at Cannes, and first of all, I think Jeon Doo Yoon's performance is, in my mind, the best performance I've ever seen in any movie of all time. I think um, what she manages to capture in terms of grief and rage and faith and equanimity and then the crumbling of that is inhuman. I don't know how she did it, but I just remember sitting there in the audience and thinking halfway through, this is by far the best performance I've ever seen in my life. Oh, honey. Ah! I love how the film never allows itself to distance itself from her. Like it stays, the film always stays right with her in her orbit, no matter how hard it is. It just, the, the filmmaking never turns away from the emotional hurricane of its lead actor. And I think that's a really brave, interesting choice to make and a hard one to make because there are moments where you, I would think you would instinctually want to pull back and he just never does. Like we stay in the absolute chaos of all of her emotions, no matter how loud or how quiet. And that's, it's fascinating. I think it really gives you a window into feeling, feeling along with someone as opposed to just watching them or witnessing them. I just think it's such an amazing film in the way that it does deal with this, this kind of loss and grief that is full body and um, just inhabits this, like takes over this woman. And to see grief and rage portrayed that viscerally in that full body way that she does was so shocking and so cathartic. And then seeing her find faith and find peace and at first, as an audience member, I found myself nervous and suspicious of that, and then so happy for her, and so fascinated by that kind of peace she achieves, and then to just see that turn over into itself and crumble was just so alarming. I, I don't think I've ever sat in a film and been that kind of alarmed by what I was seeing, and yet what I was seeing was really just somebody's inner emotional life. Like, that's, that's the part of it that was most haunting. And so, of course, like I was really interested too in how it was dealing with issues of faith and of losing faith and of what that means and what does forgiveness look like and and is forgiveness always the right direction to be heading in and what are the conditions to make forgiveness possible? What are the parameters and boundaries around that or are there any? And so I think that started a whole conversation in my head that continued for many years and then some of those issues turn up in a very different way in Women Talking. <laughs>